And it's time right now for a bigger picture with Dr. Dan from Sioux Falls Hypnosis. Hello, sir. How Hello. Are you? How are you this morning? Very good. I, we always have a nice chat before we yeah. chat, and then I'm like, "Oh, hey, you're using all the you're, you're using all the good stuff. <laughs> Wait till we're on the radio." Uh, but no, I, I love our conversations before the conversations because I, I learn a lot. But then I always try to make sure I ask the right things so everybody else gets to learn that as well. But you're one, very good at this. One of the things that we learned today in our pre-conversation is that we don't necessarily know what we want. Well, we. Uh, Sometimes we think we know what we want, right. but we don't really know what you know, we I'm, want. You <laughs> know, as, as a hypnotist, I spend a great deal of time in that, you know, conscious versus unconscious. Yeah. You know, and, and that is, that's an important distinction because consciously, a lot of us want to change certain aspects of our lives or yeah. how we do things or our behavior. And, and consciously, we want this and we could give you a list of reasons why yeah. I, I really need to change this or I really need to do this different or <clears throat> I really need to you know, address this aspect of kind of what I do or how I am. But unconsciously, yeah. there's very frequently another agenda going on. Oh. And this is what causes us to struggle to yeah. change or to get stuck, yeah. which is another kind of metaphor that we often use. That we, we, we know we want to change, but for some reason we're struggling to do that. And we don't understand why. And it's, and it's very problematic. And the people around us don't understand why. And we look like, a, you know, everything from a liar to a hypocrite to... Who knows what? Yeah. But in reality, unconsciously, there's something we we're looking for or we need. Yeah. Now, most of the time, and this is this is very important for everybody out there. Most of the time, what people are actually looking for is either it's admiration, sympathy, or love. Okay. That that's unconsciously that's what you're you're trying to achieve. That's what you're trying to get. From admiration, world. sympathy, sympathy or, or love. love. Sounds like a name of a rock album. Yeah. Admiration, sympathy, sympathy or, or love. <laughs> and so, and what happens is if you have a problem, the, the difficulty is, is the, the problem is usually one of the ways we try to achieve that. Yeah. And so we may say we want to change that. We may know we need to change it. We may be able to give a list of reasons why. Yeah. But that problem exists to make sure that we get love, yeah. sympathy, yeah. admiration, whatever it is that, that we emotionally, that we unconsciously feel we need. And it's a problem because until you either resolve this or find another source or uh, mature to yeah. a place where, where this isn't, uh, you know, a, a driving unconscious need that you have yeah. until that happens, the problem stays. Is there one of those that's the most prevalent? Are people looking sympathy? For okay. Mm-hmm. I was going to ask if it's admiration, sympathy, or love. People want, you know, and and I I mean this, I say this recognizing that we're all just human beings. Yeah. But what most of us are actually looking for is sympathy. So We feel misunderstood. So instead of me fixing the problem, they want me to say, I hear about this problem, I hear what you're saying, and it seems, that that just seems awful. I've been... I've been mistreated. I've gotten the short end of the stick. I'm misunderstood. The situation is unfair or unjust. Um... I don't understand why this is happening. Most of us emotionally, what we're looking for is is sympathy. Hmm. And it's it's a very problematic thing because it goes way back with all of us to, you know, we could we could wax Freudian here, but it goes yeah. all the way back to the early part of our lives. Yeah. But unconsciously, that's what we're moving around in the world trying to get. We're trying to get the sympathy, the understanding uh, that we that we always have felt that we we should get or needed or wanted or whatever the case is. And and, and the pro- the problem is yeah. is that whatever it is we're stuck in, whatever it is we're struggling with, is part of the way we achieve that. Mm. Our okay. problems, our difficulties, our struggles are one of the ways we get the sympathy we need. Yeah, it is. It, it's it it's a direct coping mechanism. Yeah. And how are you supposed to resolve that? How are you supposed to change that if it is one of the ways or the primary way that you get this need met? Yeah. And this is what this is what gets people stuck. This is what puts us in therapy for years and nothing happens. This is what, you know, where we don't even understand our own behavior and oh, yeah. why we keep making lists and not being able to do them or whatever the case is. <laughs> he's, he's pointing at my, I got like seven to-do lists. And the number one thing on my new to-do list is consolidate all of my to-do lists. <laughs> yes. Why do we keep doing the same thing? Why do we keep engaging these problems? Why do the same thing keeps happening to us? And the reason for that is, is because it is one that problem, that issue, that behavior is one of the ways we get what we need. Yeah. And so at Sioux Falls Hypnosis, that a lot of what we do is is to to resolve this in a useful way so that people then can change. Yeah. So if you're out there and you're asking, well, why can't I change? Or I know what's wrong with me and I've tried to do it and I can't do it. Or I've tried to do it and I've failed. Or 
whatever the, the, the multiple experiences that we all have yeah. with these issues. Uh, yeah, there's a way to do this. Yeah. But you have to be addressing the right thing. And what happens is a lot of times people who are trying to support us, they're trying to understand us, yeah. they're saying, yeah, no, really, yeah, dude, I understand. And we're getting all of this sympathy. We're getting all of this. People are listening and they're supportive and all of the things that feel really awesome. Yeah. And we think we're doing the right thing for each other. But in reality, very frequently, that's not what we need. It's not really helping. It's not helping. It's it's a it, wonderful... It might feel good. Yes. And it's a wonderful, decent good part of who we all are, yeah. but it is not what we need. What we need is that there's something in there that you're a need you have and you need to mature a bit or change that so that you can then go on about the business of altering whatever aspect of your life you want to be different. It, it, this just made me think of a, a Bob Newhart skit. I think it was from Saturday Night Bob's Live. Bob's a genius. Uh, but there was a, a skit where you know they would come in and, and he said, it's this much, did we get paid in advance? And it only, it only takes one session. And uh, they're like, okay. And they start talking about whatever's going on. He goes, okay, um, stop it. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, why? He goes, stop doing that. And, and any other problems? And they're like, well, this. He goes, well, stop it. Stop doing that. <laughs> and, and it was a very funny video mm-hmm. to watch. But it's so true because at the end of the day, doing what you do, you probably want to say that to people all the time. Well, stop doing that. <laughs> I do what I re- Everything is a choice. Yeah. And that's, what, that's the point of what Bob yeah. was saying. Everything is a choice. Now, in, inside our, our heads and in our hearts, yeah. we've got a thousand reasons why that's not true. Exactly. And we'll give them to you and we'll, we'll struggle with that. But in the end, yeah. it's a choice. Stop it. Stop, stop it. doing that. <laughs> if somebody would like some assistance to stop doing that, how do they get a hold of you? What's the best way to reach out to you? You can find us on the web at SiouxFallsHypnosis.com. You can call directly at 605-702-6691. Very you can nice. also find me on, I don't know, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok, all the normal stuff. He's everywhere. Okay. Sioux Falls Hypnosis. And again, SiouxFallsHypnosis.com. And if you're catching the tail end of this and you're going, oh, man, I wonder what they just said, uh, you can find out because we post this also as a podcast at SiouxFallsPodcast.com.